So this is a non-calculator paper. And then in this question, we're told the fact that 78 multiplied by 314 is 24,492. We have to use that value to state. Now the word state in itself is important. It means you're meant to be able to just write down the answer. But I'm going to do a little bit of working out along the way. Now just state the answer. If we're going to multiply the digits 78 by the digits 314, I'm going to end up with the digits 24492. So here we go. I'm going to end up with 24492. But the decimal place has been moved in one place on the 78 and one place on the 314. That's a total of two places. So move the dot in two places and there's the answer. Now, when we multiply these two together, we're still multiplying the digits 7, 8 by the digits 3, 1, 4. So we still expect to get the same digits, 2, 4, 4, 9, 2. But we need to take into account these noughts, and we need to take into account where this decimal point is. But it's important which we do first. You do need to add these four noughts first. One, two, three, four noughts first. And then after adding the four noughts, appreciate the dot has moved in three places. So the dot goes three places in. So we end up with the answer, two, four, four, nine, two, naught. Once the dot's at the end, it doesn't matter if you put it there or not. But you must have the noughts first. Now you also need to appreciate, if we know that the digits 7, 8 multiplied by the digits 3, 1, 4 gives you the digits 2, 4, 4, 9, 2, you can reverse it around the other way and say that 2, 4, 4, 9, 2 divided by 3, 1, 4 will equal 78. So therefore the answer to the question on part 3 has definitely got the digits 7 and 8. But what about the decimal point? Now, when you look at a division, and you're not using a calculator, you must not divide by a decimal number. So in other words, the first thing we have to do is move that dot to the end, turning the decimal number into a whole number. If we move the dot one place to the end, then we must move this dot one place also. So we have to move this dot to the end to give us a whole number. And because we've moved that dot one place, we must move this dot one place as well. So in other words, we're going to divide 244.92 by 314. So the dot in the answer needs to be two places in. So that gives us the answer, 0.78. OK, as we go along, we'll do the marking. This should be quite a straightforward question of just writing down answers, or at least writing down answers after a bit of thought. And each one of those three answers are worth one mark. OK, question two. Now in most cases, I've tried to get all of the information on the sheet I'm working on. And I think I've managed to do it on this one. Um, question says in the book, Glenn bought a motorhome for £12,000. Each year the value of the motorhome depreciated by £10,000. What's the value of the motorhome after three years? Three years after he bought it. Non-calculator paper. Like many questions, you can do this different ways. I think I'll go about it the way of using the 10% in my head and showing all my working out. So we bought the motor home for £12,000. It depreciates by 10% and to find 10% we just lose the naught off the end and end up with 1, 2, naught, naught. So that's the loss in first year. So let's subtract this. Well, without a calculator, do be careful.
because a lot of people get these silly little questions wrong by not being careful enough. So that's the value at the end of the first year. Now it's going to lose another 10% of this, so let's chop that naught off the end and get 1080. And this is going to be the loss in the second year. So during the second year it loses £1,080. Let's subtract that. Now when you do the subtraction, I don't know when the last time was that you did this borrowing business and paying back that you learned first off, possibly in the junior school. But do be very careful. Silly little question and a lot of people are going to get it wrong by not being careful enough. That's the value at the end of the second year. And in the third year, it loses 9.72, loses £972. So let's take that off again. Be careful with your subtraction. Be careful with your subtraction. We wouldn't want to get a question wrong because we can't subtract. Therefore, at the end of the three years, that's the value. So the answer to the question, the value at the end of three years, £9,748. Now this is not the only way of doing it, and if it was a calculator paper, then I'd approach it in a completely different way. If I've got time at the end, I might come back to this question and just say how I do it with a calculator. But for now, that's how I do it on this paper. Let's look at the marking for this. Now in fact, there's three marks for this answer. And you would get all three marks for getting it right. But showing you working out along the way really can pay dividends. If I get it wrong, then there will be one mark for seeing the, the amount 1200. And there will be one mark for showing the amount 972. So showing you working out, as always, is extremely important. So you will get all three marks if you get it right because if you get it right you must have been doing this working out but if it goes wrong and you haven't shown your working out you'll get naught but if you show your working out then you'll get a mark if the examiner sees this figure 1200 and a mark if the examiner sees the figure 972 showing your working out is extremely important you can get marks for showing your working out and also you're less likely to go wrong. I'm sure I've said that before and I shall continue to say it. It's so important. Okay, question three. Question three is very short, so obviously it does appear all of it on the sheet. Solve this dear little equation. A little bit of algebra. When you see brackets, remove the brackets. Remove the brackets by multiplying everything inside the bracket by the number that's outside. In other words, 5 multiplied by b, which is 5b, and 5 multiplied by minus 3, which is therefore minus 15. That's the first line of working out. Now, on this side, I've got 5b, and on this side I've got 9b. So I need to take the 5b away from that side and take the 5b away from that side, leaving me with 4b there. The plus 5 will still be there. And if I take that 5b away, I'm going to be left with 15. Let's be careful here. Minus 15. So that's taking 5b away from the right-hand side of the equation and 5b away from the left-hand side of the equation. Now let's take 5 this number 5 away from the left hand side. If I take that 5 away I'll be left with 4b and if I take 5 away from minus 15 I'll get minus 20. If 4b is minus 20 then b itself is minus 20 divided by 4 which we would write not like that but like that and then work it out the answer is minus 5. That question, how many marks is there for that? Two marks. 
as you'd expect, not a lot, but one mark for the answer, and one mark for showing you've removed the brackets correctly. Sorry, that's that line there. So two marks, one mark for showing you've removed the bracket correctly, and one mark for continuing through and getting the answer. That's question three.